Ariana, are you going to come up and join me? All right. Come on down, my dear. All right. Well, I was going to start with a little joke with it being Holy Humor Sunday and all, but it was about a roof, and I, I just didn't want it to go over our heads. Oh, all right, maybe I'll leave the telling jokes to the pastor today. All right, so when I was in elementary school, a little bit older than you, Ariana, I used to check out this book all the time. It was called Ripley's Believe It or Not. And I know that they still come out with new ones, but back then that was like the coolest thing. When they had a new one, we were always fighting over who got to check it out of the library. We wanted to be the first ones. So in, do you know what Ripley's Believe It or Not is? No? Well, in that book, it's full of strange and amazing pieces of information. They might seem a little bit unbelievable, but they are true. So, a couple of my favorites. There was a guy once, he had a chicken that laid perfectly square eggs. Have you ever seen a square egg? No, me either. I mean, I've seen brown, I've seen white, I've even seen speckled, but I think I'd have to see a square egg to believe be able to believe that. And then there was a young lady. She's in California. How many hula hoops do you think she could keep going at one time? 20? Any more guesses? 25? How about 68 hula hoops? I can barely keep one going, so I would definitely have to see that to be able to believe it. So, like I said, the book is filled with amazing things that may be a little bit hard to believe. But you know what? Just because something may not, just because we have not seen something happen does not mean that it didn't happen or that it doesn't exist. So in today's scripture story, we learn that the Sunday that Jesus rose from the grave, he appeared to a group of his disciples. Thomas was not there. He said, I won't believe it until I see it with my own two eyes. Thomas was saying he had to see it to believe it. A week later, Thomas saw Jesus. Jesus invited Thomas to touch his hand where the nails had been, to put his hand in the wound in his side. And then Thomas believed. Jesus said to him, because you have seen me, you have believed. But blessed are those who have not seen and yet still believed. It's hard for some people to believe that Jesus rose from the grave because they didn't get to see it with their own two eyes. But you know what? It's true. You and I have never seen Jesus, but we believe. Through our faith, we see and we accept him. We don't have to see it to believe it. So let's pray. Dear God, Thank you for Jesus, who gives us many chances to see and know him and learn what he knows about you. Amen. Thank you, everybody. Come on, hurry. <laughs>